Well, good morning, everybody at home. This morning we have about 20 minutes of uh, yoga, and Sarah here is our instructor, and she's going to do a uh, flow. So from standing to uh, uh, down on the floor position, and uh, her uh, followers going to be Greg here. So you guys enjoy 20 minutes of uh, relaxing yoga. Thank you. So hello and welcome to our yoga practice. The only prop you'll need today is a towel, a blanket. Uh, when we go into our seated pose, uh, we'll be in tabletop for a while and sometimes a little extra cushion on your knees is helpful. So we'll talk about that again uh, when we get to that position, but I would just recommend if you have a towel, a blanket, a beach towel, something that can give you some extra cushion, a rug, uh, even an extra mat, uh, might be handy to have. So today, I want you to make sure that you honor your body with what it can do right now in this given moment. Yoga is not about being extremely flexible. It's about how you feel as you go in and out of poses and how you feel afterward. So let's start with uh, some nice, deep cleansing breaths. So we're going to go into mountain pose. Mountain pose is just a nice resting pose. You can put your feet together or you can put them hip width apart. And I may move in and out of poses uh, at times just to give more instruction. Uh, so stand with your tailbone tucked under, core nice and engaged, belly button in, lift it up, shoulders down, hands just gently at your side, so just relax. Make sure your knees are never locked in yoga, it's always a soft knee. Let's take a nice inhale and exhale, we're going to inhale for three, exhale for four. Inhale through your nose, inhale, and exhale.
focusing on that knee, making sure it's not bobbling in. It's so nice for stamina, for endurance. Shoulder blades widen on either side of your back. Really pull those shoulder blades open. Release your hands back in front of you. Drop your arms. Now we're going to take a wide circle. We're going to do eagle arms. We're going to stay in this foundation. Bring your arms up, left arm over right. Give yourself a nice hug. It's a nice shoulder opener. You may want to stay here, and that's fine. This does just as much, gives you just as much benefit. If you do stay here, just lift your elbows up slightly. If you want to go into eagle arms, just bring your arms up, cross your hands, bring your palm of your hands together. You may find that this is as far as you can move, and that's fine. Wherever your arms can move. Lift your elbows up and look through your elbows. Make sure that knee is not wobbling inward. Keep that core engaged, nice whole spine. Slowly lower your elbows and release your arms. Now we're gonna keep the foundation. As we rotate our hips and our torso to the side, we're also going to rotate our foot. So now our foot is going to be parallel to the edge, back edge of your mat. Torso now is flat against the side, hands to chest, hands overhead, and then straight down parallel to the floor. Let's look forward over the fingertips of the right arm, and you're gently stretching your fingertips forward, stretching your back fingertips backward to the wall, keeping that knee nice and engaged. Firmly plant your feet onto the mat, belly button in and lifted, shoulders down, it really opens your chest. Now let's slowly bring that front palm up. As we're bringing that arm up to the sky, you're dropping your back arm into reverse warrior. You're looking up to the sky. Keep your lower body engaged. Feet rooted firmly into the mat. And now we're gonna come into extended side angle. So let's slowly start dropping that front arm. Put a bend. We're going to just rest that elbow on the inner thigh and let's slowly bring that left arm forward. You may choose to stop here or you may choose to come all the way up, opening your chest and shoulders and looking up to the ceiling. You know, bring your arm back down. Nice. Now let's straighten that front leg. And let's adjust that back foot so the toes are pointing forward. We're going to do a little gentle hamstring stretch. So we're only going to go as deep as a uh, flat back. So let's just slowly fold forward or hinge forward. Flat back is as deep as you want to go. Get a nice stretch of your hamstring. Weight the hamstrings up. If you're comfortable, lift your toes up off the mat. Get a little deeper stretch of your hamstring. And then drop your toes back to the mat up and then slowly bring your left foot to the mat, the front of the mat. Now we're going to the other side. Firmly root the left foot in front. Let's take the right leg back. Get into warrior one position. Your back toes are slightly at an angle. Bend your front knee. Stack your knee on top of your ankle. Hips pointed towards the front. Belly button in and lifted. Hands in prayer. Overhead. Shoulders down. Find a point uh, anywhere in your room that you can just slowly and gently have your gaze. Helps you with your balance. They're all balancing, they're stamina inducing, they're endurance inducing. Good for your core, strengthening your core. Bring your hands back to your chest. Drop your hands to your side. We're going to go into eagle arms again. This time as you bring a nice wide swoop, right arm on top. Give yourself a nice hug. You can stay here, or you can go ahead and bring your arms into eagle arms. Lift your elbows up. Keep your torso pointed straight. Drop your elbows and release. This will be the warrior two. So as you're moving your torso, 
torso to the side. You're adjusting that back foot. Get your foundation. Hands to chest. Hands overhead. And then parallel to the floor. Look over the front fingertips. You're stretching the front fingertips in front of you. You're stretching the back fingertips to the back wall. You're gazing over the front fingertips. Keeping that core engaged. Nice tall spine, belly button in and lifted. Now let's turn the left palm up to the ceiling and gently lift and let's go into reverse warrior. And now let's slowly come forward into extended side angle. Gently bringing your arm up. You can stop here or you can bring your arm all the way up, opening your chest and your shoulders. Now bring your arm down. Nice. Now let's come forward. Do a hamstring stretch. I've got the hamstring stretch. Well, let's do that. All right. Let's take our foot back. Toes pointed towards the front. Straighten that front leg. And let's just go into a half fold. Flat back, as far as you want to go. Feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Lift your toes if you feel comfortable off the mat. And then gently put the toes back. Now we're going to move down to the floor. All right. Get your nice foundation. Be firmly planted on the, the floor. Put now a bend in your knee. And we're going to first hinge forward, hinge down into flat back. And now hinge farther down. Now you can either have your hands rested on the mat or you can grab your elbows. And let's just do a little swaying. You can grab your elbows. Otherwise, if your hands are on the mat, Keep them there and get a nice stretch. Nice stretch of your hamstrings. Again, it's gentle on your knees. And release your arms. Hands on the mat. And let's slowly take your feet back. We're going to go into downward dog. So fingers, hands are at the front of the mat. Widen up those fingertips. Feet are hip width apart behind you. Your tailbone is up. You're going to drop your head in between your arms. And then let's just get some, some movement. Let's just do some pedaling with our feet. You're moving your hips, loosening everything up. Your belly button is moved inward towards your spine. Let's go to straight leg and let's try to drop those uh, heels towards the mat. Nice stretch again of your hamstrings, your calves. And let's slowly now just drop our knees down to the mat. And this is where you may want to take a towel and just put it underneath your knees just to give you a little bit more support. We're going to come into tabletop, so knees hip width apart. Your shoulders now are stacked on top of your wrists. So your hands aren't out here, they're down back here. Widen all those fingertips, spread the fingertips out. Get into nice position so you feel balanced. And let's extend the right leg behind us, straight behind us, keeping those hip points towards the floor. Let's just do some circles with our, our ankle. Go one way and go the other way. And then point and flex. Just wake up those ankles. If you feel you have good balance, keep your legs straight now, foot stable. And let's bring your left arm forward. And do some circles. One way or the other way. Just wake up that wrist. And then still your wrist. And hold. Engage that core. If you want to dip your toes to the mat and then lift up, you can. Or you can keep your leg where it is. And now bring your hand back to the mat. 
keeping your leg extended behind you. We're gonna drop our head, drop our chin towards our chest, and we're gonna bring our knee up to kiss our chin. So drop your head, bring your knee up, and extend. One more. Knee forward, and extend. And now let's drop our knee back to the mat. Now get in position, and we're gonna go the other side. So now extend that left leg straight behind you, and do some circles with your wrists, or ankles. One way and the other way. And point and flex. And then now just point your toe backward. Some stillness in your ankle. If you feel comfortable, bring your left arm extended out in front of you. Keep that core engaged for balance. And do some circles. One way and the other way. Now bring some stillness to your wrist. And now bring your arm back to the mat. Without lowering your leg, let's drop your chin to your chest. And let's bring your knee into your chin and then extend it back out again. Knee to chin, back out. Knee to chin, back out. And now bring your knee back to the mat. And extend your hands in front of you a little bit. We're gonna go into flat mat and we're going to go do uh, some baby coat. So let's just bring the feet back, kind of in a plank, and then slowly lower, keeping your elbows nice and tight to your side. Rest your forehead on the mat. Now bring your hands to either side of your chest and make sure throughout this you keep your elbows very tight against your the sides of your chest, the sides of your ribs. You want to actually bring your shoulder blades together. On an inhale, we're going to lift our chest slightly off the mat. Inhale up, keeping those elbows nice and tight. Bring those shoulder blades in. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Nice. Let's bring your hands out in front of you. We're going to lift our body and we're just going to go straight into child's pose. You can keep your knees hip width apart or if it feels better, extend your knees to the outer edges of your mat. That just gives your body more room to fit inside. And just fold your body to the mat, forehead on the mat, your arms extended in front of you. As you're moving your hips back and your bottom down towards your heels, you're also extending your arms and trying to reach forward and uh, elongating and lengthening that spine. pose and we're winding down. Let's just do a gentle twist. So let's just twist to our right, bringing our right fingertips behind our bottom, left hand resting on our knee, and let's look over our back shoulder, drop those shoulders, keep your spine nice and tall. Take an inhale, on an exhale see if you can twist a little deeper, and slowly release. Let's do the other side. Twist to your left. Inhale. On an exhale, so you can go deeper. And release. Let's end as we began. Let's put one hand on your tummy and one hand on your chest. Let's feel the breath. So we're going to take an inhale to the count of three. Exhale to the count of four. As you're feeling that inhale, starting with your belly, you'll feel your belly extend, the air going through your chest, your chest will ex extend. And exhale, when you feel the air leaving your chest and leaving your belly. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. 
exhale. One more, inhale. our practice today. You may wish to uh, lay flat on your back and go into a little bit longer Shavasana after we're done and that's fine. Thank you for joining our practice. Thank you Greg for joining. Thank you Sarah. Hands together. Namaste.